Hello, welcome in YouTube. We are uh, going to be playing Sea of Stars. We're going to do a playthrough of the entire game. So um, it's a, it says it's about 20 hours. So we'll break this up into different segments on the channel, but I'm pretty excited. I actually get to play this a little bit in Steam, but we're going to do a full playthrough on Xbox Game Pass. So if you have Xbox, if you have Game Pass for PC, you can get it for either one. But let's go ahead and jump right in. Right, let's get down to it. This is a Sabotage Studios game. I think they have one other game besides this one. All right, we are going to play this with controller. You know, it says hit enter. I have a controller. New game. New game. Oh, see if stars two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. This can be changed later and does not affect their story. We're gonna pick Valerie, a monk born on the winter solstice, walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. We also have Zale. Zale is a blade dancer born on the summer solstice, walks the path of the guardian god Solon. Valerie, that's cool. I like that symbol that she has too. You get like a tattoo of that symbol. The Great Archives. Welcome to the Great Archives adventure. I suppose curiosity brought you here. An important trait to be sure. I am the archivist, an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. Cool. And I look at you creepily from my chair, but perhaps you knew that already. <laughs> Maybe not. Turn around. After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories of fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mist of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once altered, offered may yet bloom. Creepy archivist looking at me. So, welcome to me tonight, and we'll explore a tale of high adventure. Of magic and deceit, friendship and wonder. But mostly a tale of heroism. On that, or one that, I believe will offer a valuable insight in the search for the resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Now I remain a bit lost amidst the timelines and all their subtle variations, but I know just the one to make the perfect starting point. Let us see what we find in there. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that is yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged Solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. That sounds very odd. Using magic without using magic. Okay. Not quite sure how that works, but okay. Here we have our two heroes walking in on the mountain trail. Valerie says, all right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. And sewing! Sewing! With sewing. Yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. All right. Apply yourselves for the will you weave into the, it shall be your sole defense in times of greatest need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> Must be something they mull over in the academy, I guess. Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up and search for a good spot. Okay, you go that way. Time for some scouting. Ah! Who's that? I'm coming through. Uh, okay. So, looks like we attack. Let's go! Vulnerable. Ow. 12 damage. 
So this is a turn-based RPG. You have actions, you have skills, you have items. So if you played any sort of game like that, you know, kind of like Secret of Mana, like old school, like Final Fantasy type games. This game is for you. Ah, what is that? It's like a bull goat. It's got a, it's got a cloud thing for a butt. It's a green shaped hedge cloud butt. Let's attack him. Ouch. Tough one, huh? Let's try this. Skills, Crescent Arc. Sweet. Yeah, two shot that bad boy. Valerie, found anything? Just a dead end, how about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. Sun is setting, come over and I'll get the fire going. Be right there, can't wait for more tomato clubs. Tomato clubs. Press A to unroll rope ladders. Okay. You just gotta press A to get on the rope ladder too. Do, do, do. Cool music. I like the music so far. Very zippy. Very fun. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. The uh, action music, like the fighting music, is really cool too. This is cool. I like how you scroll through kind of like 2D and 3D. Looks like we got another fight coming up. Spiky lizard weirdo looking thing. Skills. Let's try Moonerang. Press A to deflect. Okay. Boing, 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 crazy all right i like it and yes we jump and we jump and we jump ah it's another goat thing mountain bull goat it looks like we caught up to our friend first camping it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one only took once. You never miss those years. Or training, just being kids, always daydreaming, getting into trouble. And making mistakes. True. True doubt. I'm sorry, Valerie. I didn't mean to. Whoa! Click to claim your points. Thanks, Xbox. It's okay. I understand why you wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After 10 years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright. And that we're still friends. Why do we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, girl. Ten years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. All right, flashback time. Flashback time, let's go. Hey, we're kids. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. It's Garl! Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent and it's been sleeping curled up around the mountains since ever before there were traveling historians to record it. No way. Sure is, and it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? 
Apparently there's holes in the mountain and the wind blows through them and that plays a melody to keep it asleep. Whoa. I want to see it too. Oh, bell's ringing. It's the bell. Erlina and Brewgraves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. What's this? Ooh, save our game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love how it's, it's very obvious, like, where you go, but there are just things that you can do kind of in between. You can talk to these people. Hey there, younglings. Are you still playing in that little cave down below? Uh, yeah. Is there anything cool I can pick up? No. Nothing down there. Hello. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work, but I am reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. Okay. What's this building? Hello. I hope you're not getting into trouble again. Okay, bye. Hey, wait. Oh, look at this cutscene. The art style just completely changed during the cutscene. It's cool. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. That was cool. Whoa. Come closer, Zay. Open your palm and concentrate. He's gonna blow himself up. What about you, Valerie? Have you been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. I'm pretty sure you are. Come here then. Just like headbutting him. Oh, easy now. Can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. Ah! It was awesome, Zeo. You did it. Solstice Warriors. If you're done with your babysitting duties over here, you'll report. Right away, headmaster. Right away. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter the Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. What? Let's go, Brew Brewgaves. I don't know how to say the name. We're just saying Brewgaves. Could be Brugaves. Brugaves. Who knows? Brewgaves. Hey, the full moon is out. Huh? He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the room more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work. Emery will be so impressed. I'll take the two of you for training right away. We'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. Right, let's go. Moon Cradle. It's a cradle of moons. What's over here? It's another... Remember, village young ones, the Celestial Willow is a gift from the Great Eagle. Always treat it with respect. It's the Celestial Willow. Bum, bum, bum. What's down here? It's a big pile of nothing. That was excellent. Let's go up this way. Any forbidden caverns? Maybe this is it. And cutscene. Wow, that's a really zoomed out map. Okay. Hey, we found the forbidden cavern though. Right, save it. Save it in two. Okay, bye bye. 
All right, we're going to try to open this up, use our super magic. We made it time for stuff for a snack. What? We just left. What? I'm not even hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. I mean, facts, right? Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Oh, yeah, what'd you make? Sandwiches? That tomato club. I like how they turn around. Let's turn around and eat it. Wow, it's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I used a bit of the sap from the Celestial Willow. I bet you weren't supposed to do that. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. Ha ha. Ya ha ha. Ya ha ha. All right. How do I do this? Maybe like Arlena showed me. Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valerie. Doing magic things. Look at all the magic. We're doing magic things. Look at all the magic things. We're doing magic things. And we rang the bell. And nobody's going to notice the bell. I knew it. It worked. Question mark. Dots. I did it? Are right, you ready to go in? I finally did it! Yeah, let's go! <gasps> Woo! She's very excited. So, um, what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter. It can be our first adventure. Okay. Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. Yes. This is exciting. Let's go. There's trouble. There's probably trouble in here. Listen to this plinky plunky music, though. Gotta love it. There's monsters over there in red text. Let's hide. I thought Evermost Island was safe. Guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Oh no! Ambush! Watch out, there's another one. This is bad, we're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers? Or maybe don't tell us to go in the cave? Mm, maybe? We're not ready for this. I, I, I don't know, just try. Okay, let me focus. Watch out, it's preparing something! Uh oh. Can't be good. Come on, come on. Valerie, watch out. Oh! Oh! Right in the eye. Garl! What are you doing? Garl! No! My eye! It hurts! I can't see! There's no escape! We need more Garl eye saving attacks. Zap, zap, zap. Oh my god, I just got one shot. Is that the headmaster? Oh, it was. So it was you. Yes, it was us, the troublemakers. As resourceful as you are, reckless, I see. That's us. Buddy ho. Garl needs help. Let me wave my stick. It feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what Garl needs is not to not concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I think he means you need to get out. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey! Yeah. Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you're so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. That's all we had to do is sneak in a cave and you'll train us. Sweet. Let's go. Let's go. Back to Moon Cradle. Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I, uh... Can he come with us? And stay with us? Long is very long. Like a week? Ah, 
the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train solstice warriors. Years! No way. But your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it'll help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. Never, blind girl. We'll train really hard and maybe it won't take so long. Yeah. Train harder. Floating. Cool, what's this place? It's like an island in the sky. Is it the academy? Are we finally here? Is it the academy? Welcome to the Zenith Academy! Yes, we're here in this ancient place of knowledge. You will learn everything you need to know in order to become true Solstice Warriors. Okay, we've been waiting for this for so long. Where do we start? Tomorrow. Though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Now what's going on? We're going higher. We're going up higher. Ah! That's a circle and it's going to end up in a hexagon. Is that an octagon? <laughs> Hmm, now we finished in a circle. That's cool. There we go. Locked us into place. Very nice. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Yes, this is very much in the sky. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm feeling a weird resonance like when I open the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. Which has great promise that you're able to feel it. Zale. From what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. I have no idea how much potential they have. Probably for the best. I'm just going to stare over the edge and think to myself. Now, many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties and coming of Solstice Warriors. And the magic you are destined to wield and the evils it is meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You'll spend your days training and studying. Most importantly, sewing. <laughs> sewing? That sounds boring. Well, I can assure you that it is. Mandatory task nonetheless. This guy has my humor. All who would join in order to begin, begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Sosa Square. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places, and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first, you must learn of your duties, train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you'll create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing. I understand it's not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing. That will be all for today. You'll be spending a lot of time in these halls as you make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You're to go to there the first thing in the morning. And just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around and go to sleep when you're ready. Good night. All right. Dormitories to the right. Some books. Sewing basics. Cool. We have beds. Beds there. It's like our sewing loom thing. Some notes. It's a bed. Go to sleep. Uh, I guess that's what they told us to do, so sure. The 
next morning in the training room. Rugaves. So you'll be a trainer? I wish. Lily and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Zale received training sword. Valor received training staff. All right, let's get to work. Let's get to work. My name is Boo Graves. And we're running. <laughs> we're running. You got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Wow, we're running super fast. All right, up, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs, down the stairs, up and down and up. And <laughs> Anytime he says something, they move super fast. I love it. Push ups and sit ups. Let's go. He's doing the worm. Look at Zale, he's doing the worm. Ew, that was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Arlena will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. The terrace. Let's go to the terrace. Just like the front door. Is that like the front door? E oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? Sure, why not? Should feel as if something was scratching an inch far away from you. Let's focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. The power of magic compels you. Magic compels you. I think it's working. You haven't done anything. You startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gonna have gone too. Wow. It's okay, just breathe slowly. Uh, and magic. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. Timing is true, you'll manifest on three. One, and a two, and three. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there, you just did the hardest part. Okay. Cool. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life. It's my life. Early dawn. Yes. Since you were done onboarding your new recruits in the ways of magic, I would provide the briefing for your next assignment. I felt like the way they write that, I would provide. As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Move along now. Okay. Look at them sewing. They're like instructions. They just sat down as kids and they're like, hey, let's use this loom thing. And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of very stars. Sure is a tall order. Yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. True. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm bored. All right. So where to? Guess we'll get out of here. Maybe we'll save. We're gonna have a good save, right? It's cool in the sky. Let me get out of here. Go back in here. Main hallway. Oh, oh, something's happening. I keep saying that, but the flesh, flesh mancer left our realm for good when the dweller of strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? I don't know. And you know, the three of us can take on the one up. Take the one on Wraith Island. We don't need them. Prudence. Lena, there's no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valerie and Zale were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. This is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things, and neither is it yours. So, how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Through games. Do not judge a sacrifice. You cannot begin to comprehend. It's very mad. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after their training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But, 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 
Then let's just go, Brigades. Dot dot. So they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. And then they did the worm for months. Faster now. <laughs> like double time. Double time, hump the ground. Focus and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to its devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chance of world eater, cleansing always targets the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, dwellers are immune to magic, and how can we fight them? Ah, that's why the cleansings are preferred, always preferred during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dweller's weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? An eclipse only lasts, like, a very short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Just the one known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot be for, cannot know for sure. Flesh Panther just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus, we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Valerie. What happened with the Dweller of Strife, and who's Moyara? He's like, you were listening in on our conversation. That will be all for today. Yeah, he's not going to tell us, is he? He's not going to tell us. A few weeks later. A sound in the night. We wake up. Dale, what, what is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. All right. All right, I'm convinced. Let's go. I'm very much convinced. It took very little to convince me. Is it Santa Claus? Ah, hey, look. It's a jar. Oh, it smells good. There's a note. Dear Valerie and Zale, it's Garl. If you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a fail safe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you liked. Aw. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Maureen is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I'll try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try to visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. Hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time. Garl. Garl's the best. Hello, Garl. Let's go up on the disc and eat the cookies. You got the cookie jar. Yeah. We got the cookie jar. Let's go eat them cookies. We just get to go up to the rooftop. No big deal. Cookies are amazing. I can't believe Garl was just here. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Yeah, probably just has one eye. He's fine. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. Yeah, anytime I lose an eye, I always smile it away. I'm like, smile. Yeah. Wink. Yeah, you're probably right. We can't let something like this ever happen again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sow something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen. We just have to keep on training hard. Lots of push-ups, lots of worms. <laughs> lots of sit-ups and sewing. And then they trained and sewed some more. Look at them getting bigger and their clothes are changing until one day. They have an epiphany and they figure it out. Do they learn how to sew? Do they learn? Yeah. This is it! I did it! Zale, that's the one. <laughs> yes, I can feel it too. Hold on. Meow. Alright, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. 
Imagine that. We did it at the same time. It's incredible. We are so cool. Headmaster, we did all the Zoe things. We think we're ready. Ah yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations, moving forward there will be no more sewing. Whoop, I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Athena's Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. Ah, you both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Erlina and Brugaves are here to help you review the basis of combat. Check in with them and it'll be time for your final test. Okay. It's like a tutorial to end all tutorials. Ready to go through the basics of magic? Sure. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage to the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valerie can do blunt damage and Zale has slicing. Let's see how you break this one. Alright, so we have two slicing, two blunt. See, does it matter what order you do the attacking? I'm doing blunt first. Okay, looks like it doesn't matter the order. Got him, just like that. Now, some spells will also demand magic damage to break them. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for sun and Valerie for moon. Gills, boomerang, moonerang. This is where I get to deflect it. It's really fun. I have good timing. Thunball coming in hot. Old A for power. Well done, now you can sense your MPs a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up. Hit with a normal attack for now. Attack. Her. Got him. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP bounds for a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. Key is to experiment, keep on varying your actions, and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing. All battle actions lock breaking, especially build your combo energy. When you have enough you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Lorraine told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me now. Solstice Strike. Yeet! Awesome. Yeah, you're strong, all right. Keep an eye out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. All right. Want to review combat basics? Uh... Okay. Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. Okay. Party members can use their turn in order of your choice, but they can only attack once per round. All your party members are on cooldown. The round resets. Now they'll become available again. Okay. Attack. Basic. Got him. Attack. Basic. Got him. All right. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills with proper timing and can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press A as the hit connects to increase damage. Okay. Okay, did I do it? Good. Let's see that one more time. Alright, attack. Okay. 
Do we do it? Ouch. <laughs> That's the gist of it. Mm. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going more hits until you miss. Remember to think of timed hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying, and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. Little guy, let's go. To be efficient about it, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. Proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. Press A as the hit connects to reduce damage. Hmm. Looks like we missed. Okay. Hey, that was a block. You got a combo point for blocking. Combo point for blocking. That's how you do it. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one's expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a time block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. One more thing. Oh, one more thing. I'm going to do a thousand damage. When the party member gets knocked down in battle, you need to switch to a more defensive mode. KO'd allies will get back up their own at 50% HP once all the KO stars are gone. One KO star is removed at the end of each round. Where you fall during the same battle, the KO stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight and survive until Zale returns. Okay. Double hit and block. Hey, here comes Zale. There you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Moraine will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Are you ready for the final test then? We're ready. What if I said I'm not? Do I just sit around and like practice? All right, big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Vows? Are we getting married? Speak them now. You go first, yeah. Mm, okay. Ahem. I may use agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions. I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I chose the curb blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Welcome. Come on, Valerie. I did it. Now it's your turn. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Here we go. Ah, him. So that I may use strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I will chose the staff for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Thank you. Today you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. The final challenge awaits below. Wait, please step aside. Please step aside. Oh, before I forget, there's a little something to keep your health bar full. Three tomato clubs. Let's go. Tomato sandwich just sounds awful. Now, with your faith and abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap. Turn as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Wait. Game is saving. So there's like auto save too. That's cool. Dun, 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 dun. Running around. Looks like we can jump and jump and jump. Um, ba -ba -ba. There's a ladder over here. Let's go up. What's this? Cookie jar. Can't use it. There's a lever. Jump, 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 jump. It's a chest. We got an ornate stone. Cool. What are we going to do with that? Here? Oh, I we use it there. Cool. Uh oh. Round one. Bye. 
Fight. Uh, we are full on MP, so I'm supposed to use skills. Moonerang, let's go. Yeah. didn't kill him how did they not die got two blocks out of that let's go uh, yeah get out of my way Ooh, that killed both of them we got 16 xp let's go that was pretty cool Upstairs. Uh, now what? Go across here. Bump, 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 bump. This reminds me a little of playing like Star Tropics. As a kid, that game was super dope. All right, tightrope. Walk in a tad rope. We get another ornate thing. Yes, we did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, we got to battle three of them. We got to battle three of them. Yeah. It's hard to do this when it changes direction. Like the blocking part. See, yeah, I missed. Uh, let's see. Uh, attack. Hey, we got a double hit. Let's go. Skills. Uh, crescent arc. If I do it in the middle, I can get all three of them. Ooh, nice. Yeah, let's go. Ah, missed. Nine, eight. Let's go. 24 XP. I will take it. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Drop the stone in. Cool. This thing lit up. And we're going up. What's up, guys? I haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How can they understand? You don't think we should at least try and explain? You've seen how strong they are. Word will be a walk in the park. Who's Word? Let's see them up then. Do I gotta fight Word? Sounds like it. Sounds like we got somebody named Word. What? Okay, that's a big boy. Exam mode engaged. Brace yourselves. Okay. Uh, I got full health. Nice. Shuffle weakness. He's weak to physical. So use an attack. Yeah. Oh, nice. Vulnerable. Vulnerable again. Let's go. Oh, he's using the big old B slap. Weak to sun. Okay. Attack. Oh, wait. No. Skills. Sunball. Thirty-four. Let's go. Mega slap. Shuffle weakness to moon. Okay, we want to use Valerie and use Moonerang. Oh, it turns colors too. I'm going to use weak to something. This sound effect also sounds like Vampire Survivors. Like there was a sound effect in that game. I always want to do another attack right after that. Yeah. Ooh, nice block. All right. Weakness is physical, so we have. Take him out. 40 XP. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. 
victory. All right. So you get to select what you want to do on your level up. So MP, boot. our defense is kind of low. I'll probably add some defense, huh? Very nice, very nice. All right, we beat word. Congratulations, you have been well trained. Return now to your headmaster. Very well then. We did it! Congratulations, Valorenzo. You've learned everything Zenith Academy had to teach you. We did it. In record time, too. You must now learn of our ultimate power, the ability to use magic without using magic. <laughs> but that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Um, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. All right. Look at all these villagers. There's some special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Carl? I thought Carl would be here. I don't see him. Many years ago, Valor and Dale were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Deliveries on two solstices in a row. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember Gran was so happy to meet the two before she passed. I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them, just like your ancestors have done for so many children of the solstice before. I'm gonna say children of the corn. Valerie and Zale, step forward so the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of solstice warriors. Gaze upon us! This parading is ridiculous. Oh, let the villagers have their fun. It's all they get. Are you okay with this now? <laughs> you know I'm not. Now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. <laughs> One guy jumped. <laughs> Hooray! To the gate! <laughs> Two people jumped. Everybody was like, whatever. What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting this Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Fingers and toesies. All right, we're getting kicked out. Valerie Sale, you must undertake this journey on your own now. We will not fail, Headmaster. Go now through the Forbidden Cavern and top the mountain trail to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic and you shall enter the world as true solstice warriors. Jump, jump. May Luanas might protect you. May Solon's light guide you. Here, this should keep you fed for a little bit. Give me that food, it's tomato clubs. If your adventure feels a little tough, you could take a look at these. Got Amulet of Storytelling and Sequent Flare. You just received your first two relics. Find them in the relic section of the game menu, accessible with Y to adjust your experience. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or you're looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. And there's bound to be more to find. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants selling any valuables you find. You find you will keep you uh, will keep you felt well fed and well equipped. Now, wherever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. And do keep on training for a dire cleansing oasis. Still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's marine for you. We weren't much for our older the first time. Yeah, but. We'll find a way. Safe journeys and may you cleanse this world. May you cleanse this world! 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 May you get this chest that's up there. May you get it. May you get this chest that's up there. All right, that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, we did the tutorial. We went through the academy. We figured out who we are. We did all of our training. And now we're ready to go out into the world and 
see what happens. So episode two will be starting right after finishing the Academy. We'll pick up there. So we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see when that drops and we'll see you in episode two.